Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lutano Loloana, but it's lit for you. And if you're new here, hey, so we it. But if you've already been here, thank you so much for tuning in, honey. The support is highly appreciated. So as you can see by the title of the video, this is a story time. Long story short, I tried to film a giveaway with me slash story time, but child, the video is just all over the place. I think I haven't got to a point where I'm able to juggle things around at the same time, but we are here with the story time. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and share if you can. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. First things and foremost, if you're under the age of 18, please exit the video because it's too much for your ears. Not that I'll be getting into the finer details, honey, but it's just too much. Anyways, um, this story will obviously be about my first time, how it happened and how it was. Basically, it happened when I was in grade nine come to think of it um i think i was probably 15 or 16 years old i'm not sure so between those two ages and the guy that i was with was actually doing first year in varsity and he was probably eight, 19 or 20 between those two ages i'm not quite sure i don't remember clearly so we may we met via social media um, on Facebook. He texted me and at that point I was just like, this guy is probably a catfish because he looked so fine, child. Um, but I responded, obviously, and we got to know each other. It was nice. And we decided to move things over to WhatsApp. So when we moved things over to WhatsApp, things started hitting up and things started to get to the point where I had to actually meet the guy. Okay, cool. The guy lived in Kailicha. If you're from Cape Town, you will know where is Kailicha. The guy lived in Kailicha. So basically what happened is I went to the guy to visit him at his place. And to be quite honest, I think it was love at first sight. Um, yeah, we vibed, we were chilling. And to be quite honest, I was very young. So... I couldn't sleep over and it was actually the first day actually seeing this guy so nothing actually happened and there were no high expectations so I went home obviously I thought about him because as I mentioned he it was love at first sight so the thing is over oh, whatsapp I noticed that things started escalating to another level where um, he started communicating sexual things over the phone and it was just like child what he do what it is anyways um so the following time was the second time seeing him i had to lie to my parents that okay you know what i'm going to visit a friend um and i'll sleep over because her parents won't be around um they'll be away for something for or some sort they'll be away and like i had to lie so my parents didn't mind since I said I'm going to accompany my friend for the entire night. So they didn't mind at all. Fine. I got cute. And I went to see this guy. And obviously I took a public transport. Because back then. the This um, thing about Ubers and taxifiers was not the in thing. Anyway. So I went to his place. And we chilled. It was nice. And if you know, you know. Back in those times. If a guy buys you luxuries child that guy's a real deal so what happened is we chilled there were luxuries and during that time luxuries were like the most romantic thing a guy could ever do so we we're chilling at his place it was nice we were vibing you know like being couples and we, we had already confirmed things over the phone after seeing him for the first time that okay we're actually doing this like we are in a relationship cool um, I told him that I'm gonna sleep over and he was like, okay, cool. No problem. And at that time I was just like, oh my god I'm obviously gonna sleep over and there's obviously gonna be high expectations and something's gonna go down Child I tell you um, It got to a point where I had to sleep. We had to sleep in fact, so he tried to like 
you know, touch me and get all affectionate with me. And I was in it. Fine. I mean, I told him that, dude, this is the first time I'm actually doing this, so please bear with me. Um, I don't know how things are going to go, and please, no high expectations. Don't expect me to do, like, to go overboard, because I don't know what goes down. Okay, cool. He was like, no, I understand. Um, I'll be gentle and all that stuff. Child. So, what happened is, obviously, he put on his condom, on his D, and then um, he tried to slide it in. Child. I tell you, I jumped for my life. Literally, I jumped for my life because I was just like, no, it's too much. And he was like, no, you need to relax your body and like trust the process. I was like, dude, you are the one like who's getting all the pleasure and I'm getting all the pain. So you can't tell me to relax my body. You can't tell me what to do. And back then I was clueless on what goes on because First things first, I, I hadn't done my research on what goes on and, you know, so I was just like new to this, fine, and I'm actually glad that it happened with him and since it was actually my first love, it had to happen with him, in fact. So we chilled and it was like, no, don't worry about it and he was like no you'll be fine and then he tried again child that guy had a double bed and all i can say is i literally took a tour on the entire bed and not only saying that i took a tour on the entire bed because of we were doing this we were changing styles we we're being experimental no honey no that's not it i took a tour because it was too much it was too painful and one thing he he has an average size so it was yeah it was just too much for me i took a tour on the entire bed like he tried doing this it didn't work out i mean at that point i was so clueless about everything and then i remember him taking out a lubricant i didn't even know what was a lubricant during that time but he took it out i mean yeah he smeared it on his d and down there on me and he tried once again it was painful as hell still i mean yeah we were done and then we slept he held on me so tight because he thought like he had given me he had given me so much pain so yeah it was like i'm sorry for giving you i was like no it's fine this is probably how it's supposed to be and then the following morning um, during the night, it didn't bother me at all. We slept right through. The following morning, like, to tell you, and you wouldn't believe it, I am actually the one who insisted on it. Like, child, <laughs> I insisted on having it. And he kept on asking me, are you sure? Because remember last night, it didn't go as... I anticipated so I really sure you want to do this I was like dude I want to do this ever so what happened is we did the deed and all I can say is it was great it was amazing um, obviously it was not the first time the first time was the previous night so it was probably the second time this time around so it was amazing it was great and he was actually surprised how things worked out so yeah that's my overall experience of doing the deed for the first time and yeah but all i can say is if you if you're a girl and you haven't done it or you've never done it or you are considering to do it do it based on your terms don't do it in convenience of a guy no child do it for yourself and do it only because you want to do it don't do it because you want to satisfy a guy because child all I can say it's, all I can say is it's very tight down there and yeah you don't want to go through that process but if you've done it already then big ups to you and other than that yeah that's just about it um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and share if you can and let's try to connect guys on social media um it's loot underscore lolwana on instagram and loot underscore lolwana on tiktok as well and it's loot hand with an o two and fourteen on twitter as i mentioned i was born on valentine's day but that's a story for another day honey thank you so much for tuning in i highly appreciate your support and i hope you enjoyed the video um see you guys on the next one peace and love for me